Good day, YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Linux Mint 21 on the left hand side here versus Zubuntu 22.04 on the right hand side here. Now these are both the latest releases, these are both based off Ubuntu, uh, also Ubuntu 22.04, also the long term service release of Ubuntu 22.04, so you've got your updates, security updates, that sort of thing for five years, uh, stable branch of the, the operating system or the back end there. Uh, but that is where the similarities uh, mostly end there because uh, let's have a look. Now, Linux Mint is using its default desktop environment here called Cinnamon, uh, the Cinnamon desktop environment, whereas Ubuntu, of course, uses the, well, X for XFCE, X, uh, Ubuntu, uh, oh, sorry, the XFCE desktop environment there. Now, starting off with Linux Mint, it's got a, a nice start menu here. So it's, it's, it's got a nice dark mode there, your categorization of apps, you can search for your app there as well. Zubuntu, uh, same but different. So it's a, a lightweight, uh, kind of a, also a light mode there. You've got your categorization of apps. A little bit 2000s or even 1990s-ish. Uh, this is actually the stock variant of, of XFCE. There are other versions of uh, Linux that use XFCE that have a much nicer updated version. But Zubuntu, for whatever reason, just wants to, I guess, choose to go with the stock variant of the XFCE desktop environment. And I'm saying X's and Z sounding phonetics too much here, but you can do the same basic thing. You search for what you want, and away you go. If we were to have a look at the context menus, I've always been a fan of the XFCE context menu. It's always colorized, easy to see and locate things. I just like to open up a terminal, though, and away I go. We'll have a look at the uh, the file managers here next and see what's going on with these. So much of a notchness. You can see that Linux Mint looks a little bit more nicely refined. It's called the Nemo file manager. Whereas Ubuntu uses uh, anything XFCE always uses a, almost always uses the Thuna file manager. So you could say that the de facto standard um, normally there. But uh, pretty much you can drag and drop, do everything in both of them there. You can right click as well and you've got your, your main options there too. Uh, let's have a look at the back end there and have a look at the da, 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 the the kernel. So no surprises here because they are both based off Ubuntu 22.04 long-term service release. You will see the 5.15 kernel on each of them there. Uh, so it's capable of running the same. It, it, it's a later kernel, which is good, not the latest, but it allows you to run pretty modern hardware generally there, CPUs. Uh, for the microcode for GPUs, uh, you know, Wi-Fi cards, things of that nature. Uh, last but not least, let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage on boot up. CPU is idling off nicely for both of them. And now this is where there is a bit of a difference here too. So Linux Mint's using about 720 megabytes of RAM on boot up, whereas Zubuntu is using about 540 megabytes of RAM on boot up. So nearly 200 megabytes less. That's the thing about uh, XFCE 4.X or 4.16 there, as we can see, it is a little bit more lightweight uh, than the Cinnamon desktop environment. Well, at least this one is. It's not uh, heavily optimized, customized. It's just the stock variant of XFCE. So what I would probably be better to say is that Zubuntu 22.04 uh, is a little bit more lightweight out of the box than Linux Mint 21. But it's still got the same kernel. So uh, if you've got a, an old PC, laptop, uh, MacBook, notebook, netbook, anything with book on the end of it that's that's not new or is tiny, then you might be choosing to go with Zubuntu in this case. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you dudes and dudettes and uh, non-binaries and anything else there in the next video. Cheers.